What's going on Clash Bashers? Rocky here today and today we are going to be talking about some update stuff, more official numbers. This is a video I wanted to do yesterday but I kind of crashed out because I stayed up all night. Long story short, we're doing it today. So what we're going to do today guys is we're going to go more in depth with the update since it is up. We're going to talk about things like this gem mine. Guys, oh my god, so much cool stuff in this update. We're going to talk about a little bit more of the stats with the troops. Uh, get more in depth with the update here today. Also, I'm going to try to get out the start of our Let's Play series. Uh, where we're going to start from the beginning at, uh, at Builder Hall 1 and start playing through this. But today, let's talk about some of these new buildings. new Some of the new features. Some of the stuff I don't know if you guys are aware of. If you look at stuff like the Archer Tower, the Archer Tower can actually be switched from fast attack to long range so they can have a longer range or they can attack faster so if we look at the info here uh level one archer tower doing 35 damage per second at shorter range it does 70 damage per second so it's going to attack quite a bit stronger at the shorter range uh i have both of mine set to shorter range just kind of playing with stuff so that's a really cool feature and that is also if we go over to the main village uh part of a coming gear up feature if we see here we're going to have a coming soon gear up feature for the archer tower speaking of gear up guys we have a level 10 cannon on our town hall 8 here geared up and we can switch it back and forth from normal and burst uh, i like to keep it on burst just to try things out if we look here at burst it does four shots at 52 damage per hit on single target it is at 65 damage per hit uh, but only one shot but it does get a little bit of a, a range nerf but I think we're going to keep it on the burst here, guys. So we're getting more official numbers here on some of the stuff. So let's go back over to our builder base here. Uh, check out the gem mine, guys. This gem mine, free gems finally actually in Clash of Clans. Confirm, no clickbait. This is real. There are click. There are free gems here. Uh, we spent quite a bit of gems yesterday, so I need some free gems. So this is a level 1 gem mine. If we look at it, it has a capacity to hold 10 gems, and it makes about 2.1 gems per day. So pretty cool stuff there. We're going to get 2 gems every single day just for playing the game. Uh, and it's just a really cool feature. I mean, this is something that people always want. Free gems. I don't want to spend money. So here is a way to get free gems. Upgrade your gem mine and get more gems on your account. One of the buildings I really wanted to go more in depth with, but I didn't have the official stats, was the clock tower. So we have our clock tower at level 1, and it's going to give us a 5 minute boost for our village, our builder base village, every 8 hours. If we look here, the cooldown is about 8 hours. If we upgrade it, it goes up to an 8 minute boost, it gains a little bit of hit points there. So pretty cool stuff here. It's like a free boost session for 5 minutes, and that happens every 8 hours. You can actually gem the time to make it boost up faster, actually. Uh, so pretty cool stuff there. Something we kind of touched on before, the mines you can set to ground or air. Uh, I have mine set to ground, let's put that to air. We also have our mega mine that we can switch to ground or air. A lot of people using ground troops. One of my favorite buildings against ground is the Crusher. This thing is an absolute monster. Uh, it absolutely smashes giants, barbarians, archers. If they get in the way of this thing, it's going to absolutely wreck them. Let me go out and find a battle. Uh, I have really low stuff because we just kind of gemmed up. I definitely rushed this account. That's why we're going to start a more traditional playthrough with the competition with guys like Klaus, Echo Through Me, Clashing Duke, uh, Clash of Attacks with Joe, and Judo Sloth. Uh, we're going to have a nice little competition with them. But let me go, go find a battle so you guys can see this powerful thing in action. All right, guys, here we go. We have this base right here that has a Crusher. I could actually probably do pretty well against this base, I think. Uh, not a whole lot of air targeting defenses. We could probably throw in some minions instead of our barbs one of the coolest feature i like that you can change out your army when you find a base like that is really really cool to me i don't know if you guys are really pumped about that but i am for sure pumped about that uh, we're gonna go ahead and throw that i like having these little bombers these bombers just take out everything so we see the firecrackers taking out our minion up there the firecrackers actually have a pretty decent range so you got to be aware of that uh, let's get our giants going in our bombers our cannon carts the cannon carts are really cool i like those guys a ton but once i get these defenses out we can put our minions in over here working but i want to try to get towards that crusher with the giants so you guys can see watch these giants versus this crusher that's a level one crusher and that thing does work on these giants it's just gonna wreck my giants that thing will take your giants your ground troops out really fast so i really try to avoid it with my ground troops if possible but we're looking all right here we need to uh get the air mines out if we see here, the air mines will just keep kind of cycling out and bringing in more and more air mines. So it should trigger right. Oh, yep, right there. Triggers off an air mine, and then another air mine is going to come out right after. So pretty cool stuff there, guys. Uh, looks like we're going to do okay here. Get to like a 70% or so. A little bit over a 70%, but 
Not too bad. I want to show off that crusher. The air mines kind of see them uh, just kind of recycling. It's just kind of a pain for the air troops. Uh, I don't really have my baby dragons upgraded, but my minions, I love using them. But you can just see those air mines cycling and taking out our minions. Let's see if we won this battle, guys. See if we can get some trophies. Let's see. He actually three crowned or three stardust, rather. I keep saying three crown. I'm so used to uh, Royale. Uh, but he had a little bit higher level giants and he had a higher level level master builder. So a very cool attack there. And that's what it's all about, guys. Getting in there, finding those trophies. I'm more excited to start from scratch, not rush up, because I face a lot of stuff that I can't compete with. So firecrackers are pretty much the air defense. Look at the range on those guys. They do three burst shots at 17 damage per hit. Look at that range. Uh, the push traps are really, really cool. You can push troops out of your base. I like to uh, set push traps to go into a mine. You see that kind of cool stuff right there. Don't really have a replay of that in action. My bad. Don't really have a replay of that in action. We got the double cannon there. We have our barracks with all of our troops in there. But let's take a look at some of the troops here in our star lab. You see I have my boxer giant going upgraded right now. And all the troops can go up to level 10 I believe here. Uh, but if we check out like the army camps you can switch in and out stuff. Like I really like the army camps quite a bit here. But we can kind of see in the star lab just upgrading everything getting them all up and then at each ability they up, or each level they unlock a new feature uh like the next ability will give the the barbarians extra rage increased hit points increased number of army units in the camps which is really really cool so you can kind of see what's going to happen as you upgrade stuff here bomber is probably one of my favorite units i want to get those guys upgraded the cannon carts are really cool as well i want to get them working on but a lot of work here. The one downside, you only get one builder over here. Master Builder is going to be building everything for you guys. So the progress is probably going to be a little bit slower on this, but there is a ton of stuff to do. I mean, this is a very, very rushed Builder Hall 5, but we literally streamed uh, once the update came out. We had like 500 people in stream, so it was really fun, uh, but we were just literally purposely gemming everything up, rushing this base up. It's not a big deal because I'm going to, you know, start multiple bases, multiple builder bases, but very cool stuff in here. Uh, one of the cool features is the guard post. Uh, this will just put troops out there. If you kind of see saw when we went into that building or that village, uh, he had troops just out ready to attack us, and that's what the guard post is. One of the coolest buildings in there, just to have some defensive troops just kind of watching over your village. But I think the most hype is going to come over the gem mine, guys. Like people are so excited about the gem mine. I had a ton of questions about the gem mine. Uh, something people should probably get upgraded quite a bit here. Uh, let's gem ours up a little bit. That's all right. We need gems to gem up our gem mine. Uh, let's yeah, let's go up a little bit more. All right, so we're at a level three gem mine there. We can hold twelve, and we increase our production to two point six per day. So we got an extra half of a gem a day. Uh, spending all those gems, we'll get those back in about you know four hundred seventy-seven days or something like that. But very cool stuff. Changing between the villages very easy. You literally just tap on the boat, guys. Tap on the boat, and it's going to be coming over. Another cool thing is in the army, we see that there are more troops coming. We have. The Night Witch coming soon. So kind of like Clash Royales has has the Night Witch coming out soon. We have the Night Witch coming soon to Clash Clans. We have the drop ship where it's just gonna drop skeletons out of the balloons. Like that's gonna be really cool. Like just dropping skeletons out of a balloon. I think that one's gonna be a really cool one to check out. Uh, and then we also have the Super Pekka. This guy, the Pe Super Pekka just looks absolutely ridiculously. It looks like it's gonna be a powerful uh, unit to use. So Super Pekka going to be coming soon, but right now we all got to get used to everything up through the cannon cart here. Uh, I've heard baby dragons are really good. I got to get my baby dragons upgraded. And this village, like I said, tons and tons of work to do. Uh, it is rush for sure. Don't rush up your game. Honestly, I think you guys are going to have a better experience if you just kind of play through naturally. Don't gem up, unless you're going to go full out and gem everything. Or maybe even gem, stop gemming at like, you know, Builder Hall 3 or Builder Hall 4 where you can um, not necessarily rush up so much. This is a rushed Builder Hall but uh, we did it for the stream. Sometimes you got to sacrifice things for the stream. We got our cannon carts just walking around. Man, the cannon carts are really, really cool. So I just kind of wanted to break down uh, some of these features here. I was trying to think if there was anything else I missed. The new hero, uh, the battle machine, aka master builder in like kind of like a mech suit there. Uh, this is a level one battle machine doing 125 damage per second. 3,600 uh, 3, hit points right there. And he unlocks his ability at level five with his electric hammer that uh, gives him a 270 damage increase 
and recover some health. Some really cool stuff there with the new hero. Very excited for this, guys. So we got a lot of work to do. I'm going to get ready to start up the Let's Play series. Getting ready to uh, record some more for you guys. I wanted to get more videos recorded, but uh, it was kind of a hectic weekend. I didn't get as much recorded as I wanted to, but I'm going to try to keep grinding out for you guys. If you guys have any questions, any topics, anything you guys want me to cover, let me know. I will for sure cover anything you guys want to see. Uh, but yeah, today was just kind of showing you guys what's going on with the different buildings, uh, especially what you can look forward to unlocking because this is pretty much, I think we got everything unlocked here uh, as far as what we can get. We can get more walls, but uh, we can get the multi-mortar. We don't have the multi-mortar. So this is going to shoot like four shots at once. Uh, let's, let's go for it. Let's go for it right there. Let's get the multi-mortar for you guys here today. This baby's going to shoot off four shots at once doing 25 damage per hit. So really cool there. Uh, the last thing that was missing, we'll buy that for you guys. Really cool stuff here today in the Builder Base. And we're going to be doing a lot more with this here in the near future. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed some more today's video. Uh, this was just more of like an official breakdown. Uh, kind of a follow-up on yesterday's video. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the update as much as I am. I know there's been a little bit of backlash. People were expecting stuff for like the main village. But I think this is very cool, very unique. Uh, something that's brand new. People wanted brand new game modes, brand new features. In Clash Clans and now it's finally here so no turning back guys embrace it have some fun with it and if you don't like it guess what take your boat back home and just do what you normally do participate in war push your trophies farm do whatever you want we're gonna be still doing farming stuff I want to get some new farming stuff up uh, with the loons balance we're gonna try out some loonian farming here real soon and we're gonna get that stuff going for you guys so hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's video make sure you subscribe if you have not subscribed leave a comment in the comment section let me know what you guys are thinking of the update that's what I want the keyword to be just let me know good or bad what you think about the update I want your full reactions your full opinions guys thank you guys so much for watching you guys have a great day keep on clash passion